I'm laughing. I'm gonna have to redo that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to doing it by myself. Oh yeah. It's only me. I it's know, only Mr. I 2500. Alright, I got this. Ready? <laughs> Howdy folks! My name's Aaron Flair and you're watching Bobby Guy Films. What's up guys? Welcome back to another one. I just want to hit you guys real quick and let you know before we get started. So I've been warning you guys about Flair and I creating some waterfowl action together this year. Well, so real quick, Flair and I have created our own waterfowl company Thursday at 6 central, 6 in the evening, Thursday here on the channel, me and Flair will be teaming up for a live stream to let all you guys know what we're doing. For all of you that are interested, all you guys that have been asking, I know I've been talking about it, haven't been able to let the cat out of the bag yet, but Thursday at 6, we're going to do it. So tune in, we're going to get it done. So today guys, I'm going to show you guys basically all the decoys I use, not like every one of them, a bunch of them, you know, all the brands, all the different styles, whether it's snow goose, goose, snow geese, you know, Canadians, uh, silo socks, some of you call them wind socks. Um, I'm going to show you guys which ones I use to make giant spreads. What's up guys? We are out here. I got some stuff unloaded as you've seen in the thumbnail just for reference. We got a dog barking. That's going to be great. Nice. So these decoys are just for reference guys. This isn't all that we have. This isn't uh, everything I use on every hunt by no means. This is just an example of what types of decoys I run. Just to show you guys like you don't have to be specific to one brand. You don't have to be specific to one species. So you know if you're wanting to hunt snows you don't just have to have snow geese. If you want to hunt Canadians you just don't have to have Canadian geese only. I have talked about this before and it's like some people get it and then some people don't so I want to do a more in-depth video. I'm not really going to set a big spread but I'm going to show you guys. Actually let's do this. We'll make this an episode one and then on episode two we'll take everything, all the decoys I'm talking about and we will go over yonder in a big field which I can't do right now because the ground is way too hard for stakes. Believe me, I tried. I really wanted to do that video, but the ground is solid. But let's go ahead and go over all the species, all the brands of decoys that we use to make those super massive giant freaking spreads. Here's a uh, picture right here. I know I've shown you guys this picture before, but this is one of our large, large spreads. Now, if you zoom in a little bit or if you go ahead and, you know, screenshot this so you can save it. Um, when you look at this picture, I've described it before, you're going to see in the pocket, around the pocket, you have heavy Canada dark geese. As you get back in the, in the spread where we sit in white, that's where you have all your silo socks, wind socks, and full body snow geese. So those spreads, guys, are huge. They require a ton and ton, 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 ton of decoys. Today, I just want to let you guys see, you know, you don't have to be so specific on, well, I just need this brand or I just need this species. Let's get into it. So along the way here, guys, no, these are some, some decoys that you guys haven't seen yet. I haven't showcased. I know I've, I've shown you the avians. I've shown you the white rock silo socks. But here, these are all beat up. Look at them. The flocking on the heads all. I mean, they're, they're getting used up, these ones here. So guys, these bad boys, these beaten up puppies here, are old Tangle Freeze. Uh, I had to look a minute. These Tangle Freeze actually don't have the brand anywhere on them, the brand name. Uh, we also have some Dakotas and uh, some odds and ends Canada full body goose. Like I've told you, I love Avian. Their decoys look ridiculously good. And when I, I love Tangle Free. When you buy them, I, these decoys have been beat up. These Tangle Freeze, we've thrown them around. They, they've got four or five seasons on them. So they've got good use out of them. So 
these avians are probably, uh, this is gonna be their second season. We're pretty easy on these avians. They, they cost us a bunch of money, but like you can see, with a little touching up, them tangle frees are gonna look just as good as these avians. Yes, the backs look pretty good. The flocking wears off on the tangle frees, but the tangle frees are also four or five years old. I just wanna insinuate, guys, you don't have to have the best looking decoys. A lot of our decoys are beat up, like this one here. This guy, no flocking, full plastic. GHG greenhead gear, old snow goose. This is, might be a Ross or whatever you guys wanna call it. Yeah, a Ross. And then we have uh, full body snows, same thing, green head gear. These suckers are beat to death. Look at the eyeballs. I mean, just beat. These ones here, we actually throw out of the side door. So, little tip, if you guys run snow goose spreads, Leave your side door open for snow geese. Pile them in there, make a pile. You pull up where you want to, you chuck them out, just like that. Make sure you buy them cheap, because when you're chucking them, yes, they can break, they can crack, because it's extremely cold out, and the plastic is pretty thin. About these decoys, this video is not about what quantity you have to have, because believe me, I think that all you should know about what quantity you should have, you know, when you're talking about darks and you want to do a spread like I've been showing, like this one, look at it for a minute. When you're doing the darks, I'm going to say you're going to need, for a small spread, four to six dozen. For snows, for the snows, for the full body whites, you're going to need, for a small spread, yet again, four to six dozen. For the socks, you're going to need another bag worth. Now, you guys can go to White Rock or Tangle Free or anybody that makes the white, you know, windsock decoys. I really like the Tangle Freeze. Honestly, we run, right now we have the White Rocks. I prefer the Tangle Freeze. I've used both of them, and I will tell you, the Tangle Freeze are well made. I love them. Their socks are great. Check them out. If you guys are looking for socks, I recommend Tangle Free. Secondary is White Rock, just for the the quality. Now I haven't tried the the head, you know, the full heads uh, on the uh, white rocks yet, but I'm anxious to buy some of those. Yet again, I know I don't want to make this a numbers game. I really just want to show you what you need. So look at this picture again. I want to show you. So I said four to six dozen ca darks Canadians, you know, four to six dozen full body snows, and then a bag of the white wind socks. Now, guys, if you look at that picture close enough, which I hope you can see it, you'll see where it gets really, really dense white. That's where we're laying, guys. That's where we're piling those socks in between us, all around us, piling the full bodies in between us, all around us, real nice and thick. Like I said, if it had just rained, I would get out here and, you know, stake, stake this whole decoy system out. I would love to but it is just too dry and i really don't want to go out to the farmer's field and uh him not knowing what i'm doing and end up pissing them off or something so a quick 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 recap for all you guys that sent me those messages those comments saying bobby i want to know how i can lay in white and shoot snows and darks and ducks all in the same hunt yes ducks do the same thing as geese when you're laying in white it blinds them they're attracted to it because it's so bright. It's like you're seeing a spotlight in the middle of the field a mile away. A bird's gonna be attracted to it. Just think about that, guys. It's a different type of hunting. A lot of you haven't done it. A lot of people have been doing it for a long time. So I'm trying to up you, update you guys, give you a new style of hunting because when you do this for the first time, when you go hunting in white in a very mixed bag spread of decoys, it is seriously one of the best hunts because these birds act completely, completely different than they normally do when you're hunting them in dark spread only or duck decoy only. It is like they dive bomb you and they want to land on top of you as long as you're positioned correctly in that huge spread. 
it is a fire hunt every time. You can traffic birds so much easier. If you don't know what trafficking is, trafficking is, go check out my scouting videos. I described to you, trafficking is basically where you set up off of a roost a mile, mile and a half, and your spread is so attractive, you traffic them. When you have big, white, bright spreads of decoys, it creates attention. It draws attention. Birds want to go see why, what, you know, why are all those, why are all those snow geese over there? There must be a lot of feed over there. So birds are automatic, automatically going to go there. It's just nature, guys. But I just wanted to give you an overview. That this isn't. This is. This is probably a normal spread. Now, obviously, we're we don't have the full body snows in here. Oh yeah, we got Jimmy over there. He, I think he did. Just to show you guys, four to six dozen full body Canada's, a bag of whites, you got your steaks, and then I did I, I couldn't drag out all the snows guys. They're, they're stuffed away in the garage all the way up in the corner. And for me to get them suckers out, it would be ridiculous. So we're talking four to six dozen darts, a bag of white silo socks, four to six dozen snow full body geese. For all you guys that have been asking how many you need to buy, start with that. Try to try to get to that number. I know it's a lot to start with, guys. I know that. I, I'm not saying you absolutely need it. You need that number for it to work. All I'm saying is that that is a great number to start with. So, get you know, find your buddies, clan up, put your money together, make it happen. That's what we did, and that's why we have successful hunts today. Is because we've just been doing it like a group of buddies and buying decoys together because we're all poor. But I want to thank each and every one of you new subscribers i see each and every one of you and you know i appreciate you guys i i love all the positive comments you guys loving the material during the summer prepping for this season i cannot wait for this season to drop come watch the live stream with me and flair thursday at six in the evening on my channel don't miss it guys follow me on social media right here i can't wait to announce this news to you guys we'll see you then peace